dear students now we are going to discuss the important and expected questions in this satellite communication so the first unit is all about satellite orbits so here the hebler's laws and orbital parameters these two topics are very important we can expect questions from this okay so even we can expect the questions for part a as well as part b so we can have some problems in this orbital parameters to find out the semi major axis to calculate uh, the apogee height perigee height and orbital period okay so the next important topic is look angle determination so this topic is very 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 important definitely there may be one question from this topic and also the relevant problems in this look angle determination okay so here the question may be to calculate the azimuth angle and elevation angle for the given data so here the look angle determination and the relevant problems are very important and expected from this first unit okay one as launch vehicles and procedures so here we can expect this question for 16 mark or 13 mark and here the limits of visibility sun transit outage earth eclipse so sub satellite point this all are the part a questions okay so next second unit it is all about space segment so in this unit we are having different sub systems so here telemetry tracking and commanding sub system is an important one similarly the attitude control as well as the orbit control so these three topics are very very important definitely we can expect one question from this three topic apart from that we can have thermal control antenna sub system and transponders okay so we can have some two more kind of questions from this transponders and all those thing okay so definitely these three topics are very important for 16 mark or part b question okay so then thermal control and propulsion sub system antenna sub system this to over an additional questions may be coming okay. next third unit is all about satellite link analysis so in this one we can expect the question from this link analysis uplink analysis and downlink analysis so that is very important one then to calculate or derive the link power budget equation so this is also an important one then the effect of rain so effects of rain means it can be a, a rain induced attenuation and interference effects okay so we can expect question from this three topics and then we can have an another important one is with and without frequency reuse design concept okay so that is all about third unit the problems to calculate the carrier to noise density ratio okay definitely we can expect the problems from this unit so to find out the carrier to noise density ratio or sometimes to find out the losses in the satellite link okay so it is very very important one okay so the next one is fourth unit satellite access and coding methods here we can have multiple access techniques as well as coding methods so multiple access techniques means we can have four types fdma tdma cdma dama so any one of this multiple access techniques will be coming for the exam so or else we can concentrate on this coding methods there are different types of coding methods available for satellite communication like linear convolution cyclic code and the darbo codes ldpc codes okay so definitely you have to concentrate on this four topics so here tdma as well as cdma these two topics are important one okay the last unit satellite applications so the important topics are insat vsat inmarsat gsm gps and dbs and dth okay so these are the important topics in this satellite applications unit okay so all the very best let me show you some previous year questions you have to go through it and don't get confused if problems are coming just try to understand the problems and try to solve it okay all the very best